Case studies in classical archaeology is an exploration of the past, present, and future of archaeology through specific case studies. So we start off with looking at pioneers of archaeology, the people who really started this uh, field off in the direction of exploring the past and bringing it to the attention of the public. Um, these pioneers were the people who really made archaeology what it is around the world today. So when we're talking about classical archaeology, we're looking particularly at the Greeks and the Romans uh, and some of their neighbors like the Etruscans, the Minoans, and the Mycenaeans. But in fact, the people who were studying those civilizations in the 1800s made archaeology what it is today as it's practiced around the world. There are two lectures a week and fortnightly lectures, so once every two weeks students attend a seminar, which is one hour long. So in the lectures we talk about general issues that have come up in the theme for that week, and then in the seminar we look at a specific reading. We build skills over the duration of the course, so we're assuming that students are coming in as first year students without having been able to study archaeology in high school. We don't have any assumptions about what they know. So what we familiarize themselves with first is the range of scholarly resources that are out there in terms of journals, monographs, use of websites, and so forth. So a lot of what's going to come out of this course is a sense of the responsibilities that we have when we go into the field, or when we look on eBay and can see artifacts for sale there. How should we react to that, and how should we be telling our friends about how to react to those kinds of things? So in that sense, it's really about building your ethical standards as an archaeologist. And then from an academic perspective, it really is about building skills that will be useful to you throughout your university career.